Hi, my name is Raja. Today I'm going to talk to you about nine things which I've learned in angel round of funding. The first point is targeted networking. What I mean by targeted networking is that when you go to an entrepreneur's meet, you go with an objective of whom do you want to meet and what do you want to talk to them. Because having an objective really helps. Otherwise, I have seen you know uh, many entrepreneurs go and say hi and socialize, but they really don't get something out of that. In fact, uh, uh, groups like Thai Chennai conducts training programs like Member Connect and Mentor Connect, which is really useful in enhancing the skill. The next rule is 12S60 rule. What does 12S60 rule mean? Uh, it takes 12 months from the start of your effort to raise a fund to close a deal. And also it takes 6 months from the time you sign a term sheet for the money to come into your account and you start spending on it. So it is very important that you budget this when you are raising a fund and not to burn cash and get desperate uh, in the fundraising situation. The third rule is pay millions, save billions rule. What we mean by pay millions, save billion is that be a good corporate citizen, pay all your taxes, service tax, VAT, ESI, PF, TDS, corporate tax, professional tax, everything on time because every government department will catch up with you with the billions of fine for all the millions which you are non compliant at the earlier part of the company. So and also it, it eases the funding round because the due diligence will move faster and the funding will be faster. The fourth rule is promoter effect. What we have realized as promoter is that whenever there is a tough situation in business or when we have to swing a big deal, uh, as a promoter you going and uh, sitting with your customer or an investor is always helpful. because. You have a rare combination which no one else in the company would have, which is basically conviction and ability to make a decision. This will really move things faster and if you are flexible enough, you know things would really move faster. This is what we mean by promoter effect. The fifth rule is angels mingles with singles. What it means is that the investor tend to put more confidence in a person who puts 100% of his time in one business rather than a small businessman who churns out a lot of business cards saying that he is a serial entrepreneur. Focus really helps. That's what we mean by angels, mingles with singles. The next point is impressing a customer is not same as being useful to the customer. Okay, when we first met our key customer and I showed them, you know, this is what we are going to do, he was wowed by the ability of what we could do. But not necessarily he felt that what we were showing him was useful. So in that context, what I believe is that listening to the customer and listening to an uh, investor early in your business would be really helpful. Even if syndrome, even if is a me too approach which the investors whom we met did not appreciate at all. Uh, it projects a large market and then it says that even if we take a very minor percentage, I will achieve a large volume which is not appreciated. But what was appreciated or what worked for us is our bottoms up approach where we showed the how the customers will stack up over a period of time and what we do for that stack up. I would suggest that's a very highly uh, uh, useful approach even in planning your cash flows and even in planning your fund flows as well. The eighth point is lacks in cash is worth crores in equity. When you have cash in your bank, your confidence to deal with vendors, your confidence to deal with your customers and your confidence to deal with your investors is very high. But when you are desperate, when you don't have a cash, you end up signing a lopsided deal and you end up giving away the precious equity which you feel over, you know, uh, one year into the signing I, I gave away crores worth of equity because I didn't have cash. So managing the cash very prudently is a very very helpful approach when you are raising an angel round of money. The last and the ninth point is bells and whistles sells. The presentation which you are making to the investor has to evince his interest within the first two slides. Setting the problem which you are trying to solve in a contextual fashion with an interesting visual aid always helps. In fact, uh, that is what clinches the deal for us. Otherwise, the investor loses the interest and then he just waits for the presentation to get over. I hope uh, you appreciated the points which I shared with you. If you have any more queries or if you would like to share something similar to your experience, please write to me at raja at cyanocosmetics.com. We shall connect.